Now, I would like to think myself as a, a Spigen Tough Armor connoisseur uh, because Monty and I, we really like this case and we've used them a lot. So, like there's several generations of Tough Armors here. Like big fans of the product. And I guess the biggest question I had with the uh, Tough Armor for the Apple AirPods is do they live up to the Tough Armor name? Short sure answer is no. Now when I first started reviewing AirPod cases last year, Spigen only had weird products like the Valentius, which was a terrible leather case, but since then they've released other products like the Tough Armor Rugged Armor as well as the Slim Armor. Now if you're serious about getting a uh, Spigen AirPod case, forego the Tough Armor and just go with the Rugged Armor. And we'll buy reviews. Hey, Monty and I are reviewers. Reviewers who wear ties. Uh, we buy a pile of products, use them, and then we promote the best one. Influencers come and go, but being a reviewer is actually forever. It's almost like a curse because I end up just thinking I need to review everything. This spatula sucks. Now from a distance, the Spigen Tough Armor for the Apple AirPods doesn't look bad. It looks like a case that should come with several parts because, well, there's like fake screws and everything, but this is just a simple silicone case with a different design on it. It looks tougher than it actually is, and that's probably what bothers me the most about this product. This two-piece Tough Armor case comes in three colors, which includes black, gray, and green. Spigen decided to use the color Military Green instead of the olive drab <laughs> used by Urban Armor Gear. Now, this case, as I said, is just all silicone. That's right. Like Unlike these all these other tough armors in front of me, which are two types of materials, polycarbonate and TPU, this AirPod version is just one, and it's just silicone, it's not even the same stuff. Which is why I say it doesn't live up to the tough armor name. This is just a silicone case. It's not a tough armor, come on, Spigen. Now, after using this product for a while, I have a higher appreciation for companies like Mouse as well as Nomad, who kind of have mixed material cases for the AirPods, because I think it takes a lot of effort to wrap stuff like that for this tiny product, but that's just me. Now I will add that the silicone on the Tough Armor is actually very, very aggressive. This is probably one of the most aggressive silicone finishes that I've come across as an iPhone accessory reviewer, which means that this is going to be a magnet for Monty hair, as well as basically any sort of white dust particulate floating in the air. It's going to be drawn to this. Like this thing is just so grouty. If you keep it in your jean pocket, it's going to come out gray. You get buy a black case, it's going to come out gray. The pocket pulling power of this product is kind of off the charts as well. The only upside is that, well, it's small, so it won't pull your pockets out that much. Installation of the Tough Armor is a bit of a hassle as well. The inside of the product has a high gloss finish to it, which means you really need to insert your AirPods Pro perfectly into the case, or else it's going to be very difficult to line everything up. It seems a little silly that way. The Tough Armor has a loop for a carabiner, which might be handy for some people, but I personally don't use the carabiner. I just, I don't even like the loops on most of these cases. I will note that Spigen includes a sticky on top of this uh, case. I haven't installed it yet, um, but it's this sticky just ensures that the cap doesn't come off when you're constantly opening and closing. Like it doesn't have the stick, it comes off easily. It's surprising how many companies don't have that. Um, it is mind numbing that they do. <laughs> like I just. I can't fathom why they design stuff like that, but Spigen does include a sticky for this product, so that doesn't happen. Now, before we continue on with the functionality and the protection portion of this review, this case, I would say, in my mind, it's about average. We haven't fully finalized the rankings for all the Apple AirPod cases. We're still working through that, uh, so do check back to see kind of how everything kind of falls out. We're putting out these videos kind of piecemeal because, well, everybody's in isolation, so I'm guessing everybody has some time on their hands, so I figure we just put this content out quickly. If you are planning on getting maybe this case, definitely not the Urban Armor Gear one, but maybe even the Rugged Armor, use my links because that kind of helps me out uh, in doing all these reviews. Now the two-piece design with the adhesive on the top cap preserves a satisfying click that you get when you pop the case open. Uh, and the cap doesn't get in the way of accessing your butts. Like it's it's crazy that I have to say that about these products, but there are a lot of products that won't let you do that or make that really, really mushy. The case is cheap, charging compatible, the status light is visible, there's a hole for it, and the pairing button is pushable through the back. Overall, 
The usage of this case isn't bad. It's just the texture is just a little too aggressive for me. And when it comes to protection, Spigen doesn't say that it's rated to military standard 810G or anything, but the oversized corners are going to offer your AirPod case a decent amount of impact protection. The dual piece design also exposes a bit more of the AirPod cases. There's nothing covering the hinge of the product. I personally don't think that this is going to be an issue because you really have to be unlucky to drop it on something so sharp that it damages this metal hinge. Like it's just... Usually for most devices, it's always going to be the corners, so I wouldn't worry too much about that hinge. Now the biggest downside from a protection standpoint for the tough armor is that this two-piece design means that this cap doesn't stay on when you drop it. So there is a good chance that when you drop this product, the cap's going to come out and your buds are going to go flying, which kind of negates the entire protection aspect of this product because it's really not protecting kind of 66% of the <laughs> of the products but I will say that the Spigen Tough Armor this product offers better drop protection than the rugged armor though I like the rugged armor just a little bit better so that's all I got for this video first time watching one of my videos I encourage you to click subscribe if you are thinking about getting a AirPods case that I've reviewed consider using one of my links again the video's not sponsored out of my own time out of my own pocket, money-wise, uh, to bring you this review. So, yeah, like I just, even the bottom's not lined up, like the, the install is kind of tough. So, that's kind of all I got. Thanks for watching. Hey, buddy, that's it for this one. Being a sadistic tool by spanking myself, the first thing that came to mind was as I was growing up, my parents, to groom me as the individual that they wanted me to be, not the person that I'd eventually become, was any time that there was like a flat metal thing. This, <laughs> this was a fair tool to be used in a spank. So if I did something wrong, like I didn't play my piano as well as I should have. Mom would have taken like the closest flat angle thing and just be like. So when it comes to spatch those, the one thing you're looking for is this angle that you get when you scoop under things. You don't want the angle to be too aggressive, we'll say. This nearly 90 degree angle thing is not very indicative or predicative of what you actually can do with the spatula. That was such a poor idea. Like, if my mother was here, she'd take this. Smack! Do better! <laughs>